What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. First, I just want to say thank you guys that took advantage of our cyber sale yesterday. It is still going on all week. You can save twice. Use the word cyber and sign up to receive an additional code to save 20%. But first, I have to say, where's all of my gemstars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh for the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. And today, we're bringing back to you food. So we have, what was your favorite childhood cereal? Was it uh, Tony the Great with Frosted Flakes or was it um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? For me, it was uh, Frosted Flakes because in my household, you either chose between Corn Flakes or Frosted Flakes. We got Frosted Flakes on the days that my dad got paid and we got Corn Flakes to kind of get us in between time. You had to go get the sugar out the bowl, put it on there, get some more sugar, put it on there. And get some more sugar tell and put it on there. Tell them to take the pole up top. So, yeah, check that pole right there. I think it's up top. So, check. What was your favorite uh, childhood cereal? Was it the Frosted Flakes? Was it Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Or was it neither? And put down in the comments, what was your favorite childhood cereal? And I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. Now, till this day. To this day. I still go and add some more sugar on my Frosted Flakes because I feel like they have took some of the sugar content out of it, which is not bad because he's supposed to be healthy, right? But still, still gotta add a little bit more sugar. But yeah, drop it down below and don't forget to hit the like button. Peace. Man, get out of the chair, man. Hey, but you ain't lying. It's one thing you're not lying about, Bridget. They have Nerf cereal so bad that, uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to deal with it, man. Like, like back in the day we had cereals the cereal was literally named Sugar Smacks, man. I say it was literally named Sugar Smacks. You can't never have a cereal like that. But y'all know what I used to kill right here? And if y'all used to do it too, y'all let me know down in the comments. Hey, these little cups right here, my guy, I say, yeah. I say these little cups right here, my guy. I used to kill these cups in school. Hey, give me a like on the video if you used to kill them cups in school, man. I used to kill them joints in school. I'm that talking about putting... That little muffin they would give you. Ooh, that little muffin they used to give you in school, boy. Boy, hey, look, boy. Boy, you know, hey, you already know what time it is. That school breakfast, school breakfast, school lunch. I ain't really like school lunch, but school breakfast. Anyway, man, look, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, that ain't what we here to talk about. We here to talk about a whole lot of things and a, and, and, and a little time to talk about it in. We gonna get this video about 12 minutes or so. And so if we gonna do that, I guess we gotta get busy. Let's go. On yesterday or the day before, your boy, Nate Exy, hit legend. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy around it, but that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. We are here to talk about he hit legend. I don't know how many games it took him to hit legend. All we know is he hit legend, and uh, he's now, he's not the first legend, but he the first Cuban. He's the first Cuban legend. So I guess that counts for something. I'm not even going to count. Look, man, anybody willing to grind out that amount of games, the amount of games that it takes to become legend, hey, my hat's off to you. Godspeed, my brother. Hey, because I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. Like, I ain't even near. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to Gym Rat Superstar 3. And we got cats popping off and becoming legends left and right. Now, I will be playing the game a lot more than I played it in previous 2Ks. Because a lot of, you know, y'all know my 2K content has been like this. Anybody that's followed me over the last couple of years, you know it goes like this. I go hard in September and October. <laughs> and then I start slacking up in November. December, you lucky to get a video at all. And then uh, January, I probably don't do it. I probably do a lot of streaming. February, I do a lot of streaming. And then March, I want to come back like I ain't never left and think that people just going to be like, hey, bro, hey, you're back. And it just doesn't work like that. So this year, we're pushing all the way through. We're dropping two, two videos a day in the month of December, December to, to remember. And we're going to keep on rolling. Next story up, bro. Your boy, Agent Zero. I say your boy, Agent Double Zero. Hey, man. He said he's going back to 2K19 and is having a blast. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I can definitely see going back to 2K19 and having a blast in the beginning. You got freedom of dribbling. You can take shots like that. They normally go in. Come on, man. He didn't mean to take this shot. You know what I'm saying? You can take you can take whatever shots you want. You can do a lot more things, and you can, be, you can have a whole lot of fun. But the problem comes in... 
when you factor in the fact that you got so many demigods running around, you've got crazy spam dribbling like you don't have this year. And there are a lot of things that with, with that game, look, I'm not saying that the good outweighs the bad or the bad outweighs the good. That ain't what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that you got a major YouTuber that went back to 2K19. And now, now we don't know if it's just for the video or if he's saying that, you know, I'm pretty sure, I mean, obviously it's for the video. Let's, 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 let's be real. But we don't know if he's gonna play that game exclusively or what he's gonna do. Me, myself, I played 2K19 too much. Understand what I'm saying? I might not have posted it every day, but I played it too much. I can't go back to shoot over those. I cannot go back to to the broken, look, that, that skip in, in place behind the back was just as broken last year as it is this year. The only problem is this year it gives you mad space. Last year you just automatically went somebody. I can't go back to momentum behind the back spamming. I can't go back to momentum behind the back, behind screens and stuff like that. I, I can't go back to, to uh, lockdown defenders taking away three fourths of the court. You understand what I'm saying? Really just can't go back to shoot overdose and all that good stuff, man. But the biggest thing is this shouldn't even be a thing. You should be improving your game no matter what happens, 2K. Every year you should be improving. Even if you're just standing on the previous year's game, you should be improving. You should take the best parts from, from the last game and put those into the next game. And that's how it should be. You should not be having people that are major influences on the community going back to play a game. Now this happened in 2K17. People, but but see, this was the thing. It happened in 2K17. A lot of people went back to 2K17. 2K17 videos were getting more views than 2K18 videos. And, and it's the same thing with Agent right now. Uh, as far as that video. I don't know if it, if it happens consistently. I'm gonna have to Google, I'm gonna have to look up some NBA 2K19 videos and see if they're getting any views at all. Uh but 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 the same but the same thing for Agent, right? Like, like this shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't even be, even if he's not really going back for the if he's just going back for the kicks and for the giggles, it shouldn't even be something that he's going back for the giggles. I mean, look, Tysino even did it. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, a couple of people did it. A lot of people were talking about it. I just can't go back to that. You had lockdowns dribbling the ball like like they were regular point guards, bro. If you knew the, dri the dribble moves, the, the oh, normal three moving crop. Bro, I can't go back to all of that. Like I said, to me, this is a fun game. It's still a good game. And uh, the fact that you got anybody even doing a video, a gag video, or if even if, if, if he likes it, I don't know. But even if he's doing a video just for the uh, effects, it shouldn't even be a thing. 2K19 That's, is still getting a lot of views. 2K19 is still getting a lot of views according to my uh, my editor in the background. So, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I think that what we gotta do is, like 2K really has to take a long, hard look and see if people ever consider going back to the other game, you've got a problem. 2K18, we wanted you to fix the step back and the blow buys, and the game could have been playable and to shoot over those. I mean, you know, we wanted you to fix that. They didn't fix it. Boom, people went back to 2K17. 2K19 was pretty good. A lot of people had fun, even though there was a lot of broken stuff in the game. You know, people still people still had fun, and I guess that's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, that's the main thing about it is that people are having fun. But to me, I just feel like... like <laughs> I, I can't go back to three shot takeovers. Like you got people that are four and 11, four and 15, four for 15, and they got takeover. And they and they have a real chance to win the game because of that. It's just so much stuff. It's the nostalgia effect, right? I hope this is just a nostalgia effect, but he may really be going back. I, I really can't tell you. I mean, obviously, you know, we know, we, we love Agent, man. Everybody watch Agent, so we know that he does a lot of things for the for the effect or for the, just like with the Google Stadia, he did that video, awesome video. Bro, you know damn well he ain't not about to play on no Google Stadia, so you know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's just one of those type of videos, but like I said, it shouldn't even be a thing because the game should be in a polished fashion. You guys gotta get more staff. You gotta get people over there that actually play the damn game to test it. I'm tired of developers, just like my boy The Murder Show say, do you guys even play your own damn game? How could you let, last, like even last year, three shot takeovers? Who thought that was a good idea? Now this dude is unstoppable for the next five possessions. Or, or even this year, who thought that Interceptor on Hall of Fame was a good idea to give you a launch animation that would carry you from the paint to the wing or to the corner and you can't pass the ball if the center is in the paint? 
Who thought that left stick dribbling for noobs was a good idea? You're going the way of Call of Duty. You're doing too much stuff for the new and casual player. And even though it looks good on paper, what's going to end up happening is you're going to drive people away from the game and stuff like that is going to happen. Because even though Agent may not be dead ass serious with it, because, you know what I'm saying? Because like you said, he don't really, he, 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 he not going to play it like that. Even though he might not be dead ass serious, a lot of people that are watching the video may think he's dead ass serious, and that's when you're going to have the problem. It is what it is, man. Y'all got to do better, 2K, man. Like, like, fix the game. Get all, let's, let's fix the major things first, then we'll fix the little minute bugs that we've already found the way around. The stuff that the community can fix, we fix those things, and we already way past 12 minutes. Now, uh... The stuff that the community can fix, we fix those things. We figured out how to way, a way to get in the park. We figured a way to do this. We figured a way to um to fix our jump shots and stuff. No, we figured out a way to fix our jump shot landings. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that in a video. If y'all want that in a video, bro, take the jump shot landing off, put it on none, buy a new jump shot landing, and then put the one on that you want and it'll be fixed. Anyway, this shouldn't even be a thing. Meanwhile, this is what y'all are giving us, man. Like, like we got a mediocre game at best. You got that weak ass left stick dribbling that you can't defend. And this, this right here is what we get, man. We get a new park and it's cool, but is it even going to work? Now I have, I have not played a game with the new park, but my sources say, look at running here in the Deion Sanders on the prime time. I don't, I don't have, um, I don't have it. Uh, I have not played with it, but whoa, running. Uh, I haven't played it, but people say that it's playing a lot smoother. Maybe I guarantee you to, at least we know that 2k learns from their actions, but cause you can't convince me. Everybody knew that the witch flying overhead was screwing up the courts and making it lag. I guarantee that they had a damn Santa sleigh that was going around the park, Santa with his reindeer and his sleigh, or they gonna do it on December the 24th or the 25th. He gonna be flying around the park and it's gonna make it lag all the hell. Maybe they were like, dang, with, with, with the witch, with the witch lagging up the park, we definitely can't do Santa and his sleigh. And I'm glad that y'all learned from that, man. I'm sure that y'all learned from that. Y'all had to, man. But the thing is, and this is the last thing, I understand what you guys are trying to do. But before you do stuff like this, bro, these brands are coming back to the neighborhood in 24 hours. And you got these guys right here, man. You know, you got Rude, Rude, 22-hour 20, uh, 20, set, which is uh, Idris Elba's brand. Uh, I'm not, I'm, what's that? I not, I, bro, I don't know what that is. I nominee and uh, Diamond Supply. They're coming back. But why do we care? Stuff like this is our cheap plugs and cheap ways to try to get people to spend more VC. And I've said it time and time again ad nauseum. You wouldn't have to implore or employ, employ cheap tactics like this if you actually put out a good game. Put out a good game that's sound and ready to go. And I promise you, I will throw my money at you because if I if I like the game and I'm having fun, I'm going to play it. And me spending money will be a byproduct of that. But the investors and the, the investors don't see it that way. They say, we just want something to monetize. And if you put out a good game in the process, then hey, that's awesome. But all I'm telling you is, whether Agent is serious or not, it's not a good look for the community at all. And he's not the only one that had that has done a I'm going back to NBA 2K19 video. I'm looking at a lot of them yeah. right here. And like I said, the fact that people will play, he even said in the video, bro, the fact that people will, will rather play a, with and against demigods, three, three, um, with, with three stacked lineups of, of seven, three, lockdown defender, three point shooting, dribbling demigods the fact that people would rather play against that they get takeover in three shots and and shoot right in your face shoot over those like the fact that people would rather go back and play with that rather than play a game that's new and in my in, in my eyes it's better but the fact that a lot of people don't think it's better that means you have a problem my guy 2k20 is hella fun to me i enjoy the game this is one of the best 2ks in a long time to me but i'm the minority I guess in this case, no, nah, actually, I think people with IQ and older people think this is one of the best 2Ks ever. 
there just are a lot of little problems that they need to iron out and fix and we done figured out how to deal with them so much that we don't even think about it anymore and then you got other people you got the younger people that really don't like it but they try to throw them some bones still and it's just like you know that they want a cartoon game and you see this we just want a solid game that's it if we could play the game and it wasn't a whole bunch of glitches and stuff like that, we'll be cool, man. But there are just so many glitches in the game right now, man. How did the God glitch make it back through? You got the doggone anti up glitch that's permanently in the game. Now they haven't patched that out. And what happened? They just gonna ban you for it. Go in there and exploit that anti up glitch if you want to. They gonna ban you for it. In previous 2Ks, they were able to patch it out. I remember 2K18 that we was in there playing people and we were busting ass in the ante up on the high rollers getting 25 grand a game legally because we were winning the games we were playing them out and then what two or three hours in what did they do they shut ante up down the next day the, the joint was patched like they did stuff like that but right now we we waiting on all this other stuff and maybe we're gonna have to wait till the combine is before they pass it or something. I don't know, man. Look, 2K, you gotta fix the game. You gotta fix the little stuff in the game that makes the game unplayable. Make the game better. Put it in a playable state. Even if you just gotta do a little update at the end of the year, but then you can't, you can't, they can't really do that because they can't, they have not figured. That's why Man is trying to do a subscription service so they can do that. Because they cannot justify charging you sixty dollars for just an update they have to do like an overhaul and right now like we said we know a whole lot is not gonna get done just because of the fact that they got that they have they're working on a game for two different systems right now anyway like i said it shouldn't even be a thing it should not even be a thing people should not be going back to the other game because the current iteration of the game is perceived to be just so ass it is what it is whether it's in jest whether it's real it should not be a thing 2k do better make a game if you can't fix it right now let's get it fixed look at all of this get some people in there that actually play the damn game get some people in there that actually break the game instead of banning these people but you know after after that see if you can get them in there and say hey we're working on 2k21 can you come in here and try to break this motherfucker for us and if you can then you know you you get your job and you get to stay back here next year but you don't even have to do that all you gotta do is just watch all the glitch videos and when you build a game, try the damn glitches before you put the game out. That's a novel idea, 2K. Why don't you try to do that? Why don't you get more than five people in the park and try to join? Why don't you get somebody like me with 1,400 people on his friend list and let me come in the park and add his phone? Better yet, get a dummy account. Say it's running 2K's account. Everybody gonna friend it up. They gonna troll it. Now you gotta ask some friends on your account and just test it out in the damn game and see if it crashes. It's all so simple. But you rather make it hard. Love in 2K is like a battle. And we both end up with scars. Actually, we, I end up with scars. Y'all ass end up rich. My ears end up with scars. Shut up, ain't nobody talking to you. Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here. Like I said, they done nerf cereal so bad that they don't even got but three marshmallows and Lucky Charms no more. Frosted Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Damn it, I said Frosted Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let me know down in the comments. Take that poll up top, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Y'all let me know. Are you going back to 2K19? Do y'all want to see some 2K19 videos and all that good stuff? And uh, if you do, I'll do it. Agent, Godspeed to you, my brother. I don't know if you're going to stay over there, but if you do, enjoy getting shot, getting those shot over. Pause. Anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Godspeed. <laughs>